Uh, Botswana's President Mohwitsi Masisi will today launch the Southern African Development Community mission in Mozambique. The troops from the SADC countries are joining the local and Rwandan forces fighting an insurgency and terrorism in the country's northern region of Cabo Delgado. Thousands have been killed and nearly one million people displaced by the fighting and instability that has been seen in the north of Mozambique. To discuss, we're now joined by our international editors, Sophie McQuena. Uh, Sophie, thank you for being with us. So firstly, uh, can you just clarify, I think our troops were, were sent a little while ago, we've been reporting on their deployment, but today is the official launch. Yes, today it was just an official launch of the mission by the current chair of the organ on politics, defense and security, President of Botswana, Mokweti Masisi, and also to indicate to all those troops uh, from different countries or soldiers from different countries that are part of this standby force, the intervention force in Mozambique to assist Mozambique that they have a blessing of the SADC region. And it was just a formality. They were there uh, for, they have been there for almost uh, two weeks now. We know that South Africa has contributed 1,500 soldiers with different uh, skills and capacity. And then you also have uh, 300 soldiers from Botswana, only 20 from Angola. It's not clear yet from Lesotho how many soldiers are there, Namibia and also a, a country such as Tanzania had earlier indicated that they are ready to assist technically, but uh, no intention to deploy uh, troops there. We know that the Rwandan troops uh, based on the bilateral talk between Mozambique and Rwanda, uh, are also there. They came much earlier. All right, so out of the, the SADC contingent, uh, South Africa having uh, the most boots on the ground, remind us what the role of the SADC mission will be in Mozambique, the rules of engagement, as it were. Well, clearly they will be under... Uh, the stewardship or perhaps instructions and deployment of uh, Mozambique as the host. But you will have a, a, a command structure that is those who are on the ground who will give directions either to attack or to provide peace and security because the force will have to intervene where there's fighting uh, with firepower but where there's issues of humanitarian assistance as well, they will be able to do that. Therefore, the generals will be appointed, and they've been appointed to be part of the command structure. But uh, finally, the final word will come from the uh, Mozambique government to ensure that uh, you don't uh, try to uh, take over Mozambique uh, security uh, personnel because you still have to give the whole country powers to be able to give uh, direction and directives because they know better, they know the terrain better, they would also want to continue to maintain their independence in terms of uh, their own territory. And, I mean, the question is often asked, uh, given the, the incredible struggle and the suffering of the people in the north, is this not too little, too late? One would say it is a bit late because we know that this problem of Gabo Delgado region it doesn't start uh, now. It has been there for quite a number of years. And I think uh, SADC or Mozambique should have... Uh, indicated much earlier uh, that there is a problem and therefore SADC should have uh, intervened much earlier. But uh, I think at the end of the day, uh, what they will be doing will still go a long way in bringing peace and stability in that region. But what Mozambique has to do, including the region SADC, they have to assist Mozambique to improve the lives of people in that region, because as long as there's poverty, uh, unemployment, diseases, the people there will be vulnerable. It will be easy to recruit the youth 
who are unemployed, who have no future to join the insurgents. Therefore, the economic de- development and their rebuilding of Cabo Delgado with the aim of changing the lives of the citizens of that region, it is very, very important. A military solution, yes, but it cannot be the lasting solution because at the end of the day, those foreign troops will have to leave the area and go back to their respective country and the people will be left on their own there and the insurgents are likely to come back, recruit, yeah. and when people are frustrated, they will definitely join the insurgents again. Yeah, and many saying that past frustration uh, in that region has, has played into what's going on right now. We're, we're running out of time, Sophie, but surely this will be on the minds of the heads of state of SADC that will be meeting next week. Just tell us a bit about the agenda for that heads of state summit. High on the agenda will be the security issue in the SADC region. We have almost four countries that are experiencing instability in terms of security. South Africa... We saw what happened two weeks ago. You cannot say South Africa is now stable and there's no security threat. You have uh, Swaziland. We saw the protests there. You have Mozambique with the insurgents. We know that Zambia on Thursday is going to elections. Soldiers have been deployed and there were issues around security. You also have Lesotho that is supposed to go to elections next week, next year. Therefore, there are issues to deal with on security matters and the elections in Lesotho and the, 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 the reforms in Lesotho. And also the issue of COVID-19 that is actually contributing to this instability because people are jobless, people are hungry, people are poor. You have a huge a population of young people in the region that are not employed. And with the COVID-19 countries struggling to rebuild the economy, it, it, it speaks to a challenge, a huge challenge of the economy uh, Southern region is facing. Therefore, you have to look at that. That is economy. And also, we look at the issue of uh, COVID-19. All right. Thank you and very South much. South Africa, of course, will take over as the chair of the organ on politics, defense, and security. All right, and uh, you'll follow that for us at the Foreign Desk. Thank you for that update, uh, mainly about the SADC mission to Mozambique and what's expected next week. Uh, Sophie McQuenna, our international editor here at the SABC.